Here's the bad news. There is a secret and sneaky assassin of teeth that you and your family really need to know about. It affects one in three adults, and those adults mostly don't know that it's actually happening at all. So who is this silent killer that we really need to take care of once and for all? Well, his name is... Xerostomia. Now forget that word forever because it just means dry mouth. Yes, that epic assassin of enamel that I painted on your mind canvas is simply dry mouth. Let's rewind here for a second because I feel like we've gotten ahead of ourselves. First, you need to understand the ever-flowing spring of saliva into your mouth is critical to your health. Without it, your teeth would pretty much melt and be non-existent. Wow. Of the bazillion things it does for you, here are just a few. Number one, it fights off fungus and bacteria in your mouth so that you get way less infections than you would otherwise. Saliva also protects your teeth. Now, those of you good students who've been watching the whole series know that anytime you have a meal, there is acid produced in your mouth, and that acid can lead to cavities. Fortunately, saliva acts as like a buffer, which makes the acid less acidic, more neutral. So yeah, essentially just neutralizes the acid. And then you're in a situation where you don't get cavities, which is awesome. Your saliva also acts as like a medic for the teeth. So anytime there is an acid attack, your tooth is like medic! And the saliva comes rushing in, brings new minerals like calcium back into the tooth and helps the area of decalcification become remineralized so that the tooth is healthy again. It's kind of like a Band-Aid. You know, your saliva just is a perpetual, ever-flowing Band-Aid. Just in case I wasn't clear before, here is a perfect metaphor to make it crystal for you. So here we see a beautiful castle and an Irish meadow just waiting to be invaded by the oncoming horde. Fortunately, there is a giant moat around the castle, which is preventing them from doing so. If you haven't figured it out so far, the castle is your tooth, the moat is your saliva, and the oncoming horde are the cavities that want to destroy your tooth. Everything's well and good because the moat is around your castle and no one can invade. But say something comes along that dries up all your saliva. And once that happens, the moat is dried up, the bacteria slash cavities just storm across, grab hold of the castle, and cause ultimate destruction. So what are the things that dry up your moat or your saliva? Well, number one is medication. If you're taking a lot of different types of medications, there's a good chance that one of them has the side effect of dry mouth. So you gotta be really aware of that. And if it's really causing a problem for you with your teeth or with your saliva, then talk to your doctor and see if he can maybe put you on a different medication that has you no know, good enough effects for you, but without the nasty side effects. Other potential causes of dry mouth include not hydrating well enough, previous head or neck radiation therapy, and certain medical conditions. There's one in particular called Sjogren's. It's really hard to pronounce it. It looks like some other language when you actually see the word on paper. If I mispronounce it, I am sorry, Sjogren, if it was named after you. Well, what about those people who have dry mouth but don't even know that they're getting it? Well, this is where it's so important to go for your yearly checkup at the dentist. Your dentist has a much better idea of the quality and quantity of saliva in your mouth during the checkup than you ever would at home. A lot of times it's a really gradual decline, especially you know if you're adding on more and more medications with time, well, you may not even notice the effects of that. So it's really important to have your dentist assess you. And if you are at all concerned whether you have enough saliva or not, just ask. It's like, what do you think, Mr. Dentist? And then he can tell you, slash she, there's both in this world. And as for dealing with dry mouth once you know you have it, well, that's a whole nother topic that we will be covering in a future video. My vision for these videos is that they're going to inspire other healthcare practitioners like doctors, surgeons, nutritionists, chiropractors, physiotherapists, anyone who can help to bring free health advice to the world and you. And if you like that idea, please hit that subscribe button. It will help me gain some influence in terms of being able to inspire others to do this too. And I think it's a worthy cause. So thanks for being here, guys. I know that there's not a whole lot of you right now, but it's awesome that you're watching these and it means a whole lot to me. Every view I see on this channel just makes me so happy. So thank you. And I will see you guys in the next video.